Hello, Coronacation, and welcome to day 16. The month is almost over, and man, Andrew wants to jump into the next month, but we still have so many ideas of some awesome content to share with you. So let's see. I know Samuel, you guys have been loving him. He wants to share another message with you. Will recorded an awesome message that we want to send, and Andrew, man, you were talking about like this... Um, juggling the flaming swords and the um, the skydiving thing. I don't remember that one. Um, but for sure, I know you wanted to do the, the Mad Lib. You didn't get a chance to share a Mad Lib. So I'm just going to send it over your way while we still have time in this month. Andrew, I, I hope you have a, a microwave at home. It, here you go. Uh, it's, it's in the... Corey? What? What? In the microwave? Ah, man, I was trying to cook something. Oh, man, this, you know what? I am ready to jump in, uh, but you're right. I, we do have more content, and uh, you know those Mad Libs that we did uh, a couple days ago? Well, we didn't get to share all of them, and I'd really like to share them again, So, because uh, we got more. So um, I want to read you guys a story, uh, an updated lost son parable story. So here we go. Y'all tune in. Got you all set up right here. Okay, listen to this. Once upon a time, there were two brothers who lived with their father who made a lot of money selling scissors. The youngest brother asked his father for his share of his father's money. His father gave him the money and told him to settle down. Then, the younger brother decided to take the family UFO, leave home with all the money his father had given him. The oldest brother stayed home to continue working on his father's cement truck. After spending all of his money on Fortnite, baseball card collecting, and disc golf, he had no money left to buy saltines to eat. So he decided to return home to his father. While he was still 387 football fields away, his father saw him coming home and ran out to give him a big hug. His father was so joyful that his youngest son came home that he decided to throw a big springy party. He told his chefs to cook the best jelly beans, pizza, and ice cream cake. The oldest brother was in the electrical field working on the fettuccine garden for his father. He came home to see his younger brother was home. There was a humongous party being thrown for his brother, and he got really flabbergasted. His father begged him to come in, but the older brother refused. The older brother refused to forgive his younger brother, so he missed out on the epic party. Man, that is such a good story that i mean especially with you know that the jelly beans and the ice cream cake i mean i i, I like that um but you know we've learned a lot about forgiveness this month and uh, i just hope that we can continue to forgive others the way that jesus has forgiven us the way that the father forgave the son that went off and, and did all that crazy stuff and then came back. Um, you know, uh, I'm really excited to hear uh, from the other two guys, though. So, um, Corey, let's see. Where do, hmm, where do I want to put you? Uh, hey, look in your laundry. Just, yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, Andrew. Andrew. Um, we really do need to get into those other videos. You're crazy. Um, let's see. Samuel has a video he made for you because he knows just how much he enjoys like being around you guys. Uh, he told me today that he he really misses 456 and he misses being able to hang out with you in service and stuff. And so he wanted to make this video just to talk a little bit more about forgiveness as we're wrapping up our month. It's a big deal. So let's just turn it on over to him. And then after... Uh, Samuel, we'll hear a word from Will Smith. What are you doing? I'm working on my forgiveness chart. Your what? Forgiveness chart, you know? The chart that... Forgiveness 
chart? What is yeah, no, no, it's the chart. No, it's the chart uh, for how many times I've forgiven people. So this is for my friend Bryce. He's currently at 13. But you know how in the Bible it says you have to forgive 77 times. And so I was like, man, that's a lot. So I came up with a solution. It's the forgiveness chart. So it's really simple here. All you do is every time somebody does something wrong to you, you add a tally, right? And so each time you have to forgive them, they get one tally, right? So they get 77. And then if they forgive you for something, um, then you just have to, you know, add another tally and then you subtract it, right? And so then it kind of equals out. But if they do something wrong twice to you or something like that, then it doubles, right? So then they have to forgive you twice for every one thing you do. That's only for 24 hours. What? So every 24 24- no, hours. that's not what you do. It's what I thought that's what the Bible meant when it said No, to, it doesn't mean to actually count. It means that just as Jesus has forgiven you, you forgive them regardless of how many times it takes. So even if it's like 200 times? Even if it's 200 times. What about like 300? Even if it's 300 times, so you still forgive them. So there's you're telling me there's no number? There's no number. It was just an analogy that Jesus used to make us understand 70 times 7. It's a lot of times to forgive someone, so... You you still forgive them regardless of the number. So you're saying I don't have to count and I don't have to keep up. I just need to forgive them? Yep. That's all it is. I did all this math for nothing. What is up, 456? Um, it's me, Will Smith. But, um, I'm just right here. I'm sitting in my room right now in a really comfy beanbag chair. It's really cool. But, um, I just hope y'all's communications going on real well. Hope y'all, hope y'all staying safe. Hope y'all practice social distancing. But right now, I just want to talk to y'all about maybe like, um, I know all of us can get bored doing uh, stuff like this because, um, I mean, I still leave the house, but I leave the house whenever I go grocery shopping or if I have to run an errand for my parents and I make sure to practice social distancing social distancing, and make sure to wash my hands and stuff like that. But um, I just want to talk about some, some things maybe y'all could do while you're... Um, practicing social distancing while you're on your uh coronacation but um if you're not practicing your schoolwork or stuff like that um i know one of the things i love to do is just hang out with my family uh we watch uh we watch tv together a lot um another thing to do is play board games we have tons of board games um battleship is personally one of my favorites but um and things like mystery things like clue or something like that it's really fun but, um, you know, you can watch TV, play board games. You can uh, play video games with your siblings or your parents, if y'all do that. Uh, when I was y'all's age, we used to have uh, wee bowling nights on Wednesdays, and it was really fun. Um, if you talk to any of my family members, I was known as the bowling bully because uh, I, I would whoop some, I would kick some butt at wee bowling. But, um, yeah, another thing you could do is obviously, you know, pray to God. You go get, uh, read your Bible. Um, you know, just... Um, ask God to help you and help your family during this time. But I just want to let all you guys know that um, uh, there's come up with some creative ways. You can still go out in your backyard and play, uh, do stuff like that. I have something called an Eno hammock that I set up in my backyard. And I um, I just sit in the hammock in the backyard for sometimes a few hours. But um, I just sit there and um, I like sitting out in nature. And it's really fun. I've been doing it the past couple of days and it's really cool. But um, I just want to let y'all know that uh, y'all can still do so much stuff, even if you're trapped within, even if, even with your um, still in your home. Um, I wouldn't consider it trapped. But if you're just, uh, if your parents don't want you to leave the house, you still do a bunch of stuff. But I just want to tell y'all guys that I love y'all and have a great week. Okay. I gotta admit, today's game's a little bit crazy, but thankfully we have some friends in the fire rescue that are able to help us out. Andrew, today's game is called... Will It Burn? A variety of objects will be lit on fire by a propane torch for five seconds. You have ten seconds to decide if it will burn or not. It burns only if there is visible flame after the torch is removed. All right, so Andrew, you see how it's played. You know that it's being done by professionals. 
your job is to just decide if you think it's gonna burn. So why don't we do this? If it's gonna burn, if there's not gonna be a flame and it's gonna not be a good one, you vote at home. We'll see if you can beat Andrew. Good luck. Oh yeah. Ooh, flounder? That's flounder from the Little Mermaid, I believe. That's weird. Huh. Will it burn? No. It won't burn. It's not gonna burn. It's not gonna burn. Oh, that's a visible flame. What did they say? It Don't, doesn't It doesn't burn. burn. I was right. I, hmm, I saw a flame. Maybe it had to keep going. I don't know. Okay. A CD. Do these kids know what a CD is, Corey? Hmm. It's gonna burn. It's gonna burn. It's gonna burn. Whoa. It doesn't All right. burn. One and one. One and one. All right. A loofah? Huh. I think it's gonna burn. I think it's gonna burn. It's gonna burn. Let's go. One. Oh yeah, come on. Burn that thing up. It's just melting. It didn't burn. Oh, oh, oh! I saw a flame! It burns. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's still going. Look at it. Look at it. Whew. Pizza? Mmm, nah, I think it's gonna melt. Nah, it's not gonna burn. Not gonna burn, it's just gonna melt. Here we go, come on. Maybe we can eat it afterward. Oh yeah, cook that pizza. Cook that pizza. I know my pizza, man. It, it doesn't, doesn't burn. burn. I was right. That's right. I'm on a roll, Corey. I am on a roll. What is this? Is this a... What is this? Ah, wet. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think I think these things have uh, like rubbing alcohol in them. It's going to burn. It's going to burn. Look at this thing. It's going to flame up. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. It doesn't burn. I was way wrong. Painter's tape. Mmm. Mmm. I think it's gonna burn. I think it's gonna burn. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Burns. I lost track. I don't know how many I got right. Oh yeah, I think I did pretty good, Corey. Alright. How did you guys do? 